40-year-old Sarah Wilson is looking forward to moving her family into a nicer home. It's like a fresh new start and I'm so excited. It's something that wouldn't have been possible just three years ago at the height of her opioid addiction. At the worst of it, I was taking 30 to 35 Lortad 10 a day. Wilson credits the opioid drug treatment buprenorphine as the salvation that turned her life around. She had been taking the oral form for three years before enrolling in the trial for the buprenorphine implant called Probifine. It includes four rods, each about the size of a matchstick, that are surgically implanted into the arm. It sits under the skin for six months and it gradually delivers the medicine every day, equal dosage. After six months, the rods are removed and the patient can decide if they no longer need treatment or if they want the rods implanted again on the other arm. This can continue for as long as the patient wants. Wilson immediately saw the benefits. You can travel and not have to worry about it getting lost in your luggage or you don't have to worry about a pharmacy not having your medication ready. But there is a downside. If something happens and pain medication is needed, opioids won't work with the implant. For Sarah Wilson, finding an alternative way to control pain is well worth it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.